BHWR measurement. In BHWR measurement, this is the setup that you are having. Okay. So if you are going for your BHWR, BHWR stands for your voltage standing wave ratio measurement. So what is this your standing wave? Stationary. So here what is happening that if you are considering your waveguide or your transmission line in that if you are connecting something okay and say whenever we are connecting something and if there is mismatch if it is matching this no problem whatever the uh, your power that is generated if it can be transmitted to it but if there is mismatching then whatever the power is generated all power will not be transmitted to that one okay so there guide if you are connecting some other device so here you are having the source from the source the power is generated and if it is passing through the device so if there is matching is there then no problem if there is mismatch then what are the total power that are generated all the power will not pass through it some of the power will be there okay so in that case only you will have this uh, standing wave so what we will do we will calculate that what is the maximum voltage that is there in the case of your wave guide to the minimum voltage we will take the ratio of that part and that will form your standing wave so your standing wave ratio Your standing wave ratio is denoted as a capital S, S plus one plus rho by one minus rho, where rho is your inertia coefficient. We can also calculate your standing wave as S equal to V maximum by V minimum. So in that, you can see that what is the maximum voltage that you are having. You can note down that one. And what is the minimum voltage that you are having? You can take the ratio of that one. That will be the standing wave. And if you are seeing the standing wave, S is equal to its value. It Value from one to infinity, where if you are taking your reflection coefficient, reflection coefficient it will vary from your zero to infinity. Now here let us see that this is the setup that you are having in case of your VHWR measurement. Here you are having the slotted line. This slotted line is there, and here we are having the DC millivolt meter. Now in the slotted line, we will vary this. We will vary this. We will vary this so as to get the maximum value. The place where we are getting the maximum value, there will stop and we will note down that reading. That will be the maximum value. So that will be the maximum voltage. And then we will just move it here and there and we will see that where we are getting the minimum voltage. So we will note down that minimum voltage and we will take the ratio of that maximum and minimum voltage and from that we can calculate the VHWR. What is the VHWR? That will be there in that line. So this is your slotted line. Another option that is available with us is that Thank you.